All right, welcome to Stampscaping 101. This is a video on the Cryolon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. I happen to have purchased a three pack of this spray. I don't know what it was, maybe two or three years ago. And I had used it once and I, I thought it was okay, but it really gave, um, just as it describes, a triple thick layer of um, acrylic coating on top of my pieces. And I thought, it looks pretty good, but I was getting some drips just because it was so thick and I was used to using the Krylon UV resistant clear, Krylon crystal clear, um, spray fixatives, etc. in the past. So this one was a little bit of a, oh, a different technique in terms of spraying. But I just started spraying again with it and um, just because I ran out of my uh, UV resistant. I haven't ordered it again, but look at the the coating it gave to them. Now I'm not spraying. I think one of the things about the other one, uh, the other time I used it was that I was spraying. I don't know. I was catching up with um, a lot of my spray coatings, doing about 50 cards, and I was kind of in a rush, and I was spraying it. And, you know, uh, I was getting some kind of thicker amounts, and I was spraying them upright, like I usually do, so I can hold the can a little bit more upright. And I had uh, a couple drips on a couple of the pieces, but these ones I just had flat and I was spraying them in a very, uh, I don't know, non-windy kind of afternoon uh, session. But look how glossy these are. It gives it a really good coating. I wouldn't do this for every piece, but um, where you're using glossy cardstock to begin with, if you want to go for a really deep, super rich, um, coating on top of here. I'm starting, I've, I've re, I don't know, kind of reassessed um, the triple thick here, I think. And I, I don't know, I'm a believer. Uh, again, not on everything. I, I, I don't know if I would do a matte coat or a semi-gloss, maybe, you know, but um, on those ones it would give, you know, uh, a real, you, you wouldn't, retain kind of the character of the surface just because this goes on so thick so you might turn a semi-gloss looking paper into more of a glossy one where something like the uv resistant clear it tends to remain still satiny looking or whatnot but it could way, be a way to um, use a matte or semi-gloss paper and use those types of media on there such as pastels and colored pencils that you can't do on glossy but if you like the look of the gloss, if you've also used some dye-based inks on there where you want that deep, rich saturation and uh, glossy look to it, uh, I don't know, maybe you can have the best of both worlds. Um, and you can spray it over, you get the looks of the texturing of the colored pencils and you know the soft kind of applications of the pastels, but you can have that glossy look to it. Maybe this one's a good way to go. So anyway some pretty deep rich looks okay okay so i should do a little comparison here that is oh let's see here looking for a piece of glossy cardstock okay so here's a piece of glossy right here okay just white i mean it's gonna be it's a little hard to tell on this one but This is sprayed, of course, here, in terms of the finish. There's another one right here. Maybe it's easier to tell with the blue. But yeah, like, I don't know what it is. And now I just coated these with one layer, but it's a, as it says, it's a triple thick layer of that clear acrylic coating. And of course, it is a gloss coating. I don't even know if this comes in multiple, you know, uh, different finishes like matte and uh, semi-gloss or satin, as they might call it. But I don't know. It's pretty interesting. So I don't know, making use of my triple thick Krylon here. So it's a good option, I would say, for glossy pieces especially. But like I said, maybe there are some other types of applications that you can think of where you would uh, turn some other coating into something else. And of course the triple thick glossy um, would probably be good for other types of things like, um, I don't know, works on uh, all kinds of different surfaces, um, decoupage, 
porcelainizing, it says, collage, wood, metal, plastic, paper mache, glass, plaster, ceramic, dried silk flowers, paper, wicker, etc. Uh, use on glitter blast to lock in the glitter. Using well ventilated areas, that's for sure. That's what I one other thing I should say. When you spray this on, triple thick, triple the time to dry. And um, it really has that fumey type of smell because it stays in kind of a solution for longer because it's sitting on the top. So what I did is I, I put these in a box <clears throat> with the, you know, the lid open, like a nice flat box if you'd find one. Spray, you know, however many fit in there. And then close the lid, put something over the top of it that you can bring it inside or you can leave it outside to just fume. And then it's pretty good after a little bit of time. It'll still have some of that residual, whatever, spray aroma, you might say. Um, but it won't be as bad as just kind of spraying outside and bringing directly in where you'll kind of be smelling this, uh, you know, that residual smell, odor for quite some time afterwards. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching the video.